because of course by now you know the everybody knows the two men a, a, a white father Gregory McMichael who was 64 years old Travis McMichael who was 34 years old they see a black man jogging in their community let them tell it there's been burglaries in the area recently I just read a story about video footage that came out that shown Amon standing at like a construction site. He wasn't vandalizing anything or removing anything, but he's just being shown at the construction site. So these white supremacists are trying to say that they feared he was gonna rob something or do something wrong. They, they hunt the brother down and basically assassinate him in broad daylight, right? Now, um, of course, both men by now have been caught and charged with murder and aggravated assault. And the fucked up part about all of this, I mean, this happened February 23rd, family. And if you let the family tell it, some articles I was reading basically says that the prosecutors were declining to bring charges against these dudes, right? So the actual video being surfaced I'm thinking was the catalyst, excuse me, I'm thinking was the catalyst to actually making this happen. I'm thinking was the catalyst to actually, you know, making the police department in that area do something right. But I think it's important, just like the whole theme of this show so far, family, has been the, the, bringing home the fact that we need to unify, bringing home the fact that we need to love each other. This is, cause this situation didn't shock me. I don't see black men getting killed by police now and get completely outraged. I've come to expect it. No, uh, no cop has gotten life for killing one of us or not enough of them have gotten large amounts of time for the shit to stop. So I don't look at it like that. When I see incidents like this, I think, okay, as a people, again, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What, how, how are we gonna figure out different ways to actually fight this system, family? Because I'm getting sick of this shit. I'm getting sick of seeing it's like on loop. It's like on repeat. We continually get treated the same way. And I don't think these cops are going to get any real time or these uh, uh, white supremacist fucking uh, 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 punks. I don't think they're going to get any time. I don't think they're going to do any real time in jail. You feel me? If you do a little history on them, I was reading articles about, you know, the father possibly being uh, uh, involved in like a Nazi group and different things like this. Well, of course he is. Family, of course he is. Family, you can't justify doing something like that to somebody because you think he was out here. That's some vigilante shit. And the one of the biggest problems about any incident like this, to me, is that they felt comfortable enough to do it. We live in a country where the black, black and brown bodies have been treated with such neglect that our life, family, the life of a dog, a life of a fucking animal is more pure in this country than the life of a black body, right? This is a continuation of this system showing us black people in America, melanated men, women, and children in America, this country does not give a fuck about you, family. That's the long and short of it. So with knowing that, with knowing that, what are we going to do? What actions are we going to take to prevent shit like this from going on? Because I'm not one to, uh, because look, I understand how racism, white supremacy has affected everything about our being here in this country. How we eat, how we feel about each other, how we treat each other, where we live, how what type of professions that we expire to have. All of this shit is kind of dictated by the slavery and the racism and the Jim Crow, all these factions of these, these, these different sections in time that we've been disenfranchised, all of it plays a role in who we are today. Yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact, right? We have to understand that. But at the end of the day, I see a lot of black folks who are only outraged when shit like this happens. What about when there's no, uh, what about when there's no police brutality at the moment 
or there's no white cop or white vigilante shooting us. How are we treating each other when none of this shit's going on? You see what I'm saying? Because I see a lot of people who only become revolutionary warriors, so to speak, when they see some shit they should be outraged about. When in actuality, family, we getting fucked over every day in this country. Every day, right? Seeing a specific incident does not make me any more upset or any less upset. Every day we should be doing shit to better our people as on the individual level, you should be doing something to better your people. If you not, then you shouldn't give a fuck about when we get shot. You shouldn't give a fuck about when these white supremacists are harming us. What the fuck are you doing? You feel me? On a personal level, what are you doing? Calm down with all the bullshit, man. Let's figure it out. What are you doing today to better your community? Not just your family. It ain't just about your fucking family. What are you doing for your community at large? Huh? If you not, don't give a... Don't don't worry about the brother Amon Arbery. Don't worry about that. Because you part of the fucking problem too. You feel me? You feel me? So calm down, man. Calm down. We need to realize something, man. When I see incidents like this, it's becoming extremely difficult because I'm a hip hop fan. I love our culture. I mean, I absolutely bleed that shit. I love it, right? But it's getting extremely difficult for me to listen to a black man talk about what he gonna do to another nigga, right? Who stepped on your shoes, who fucked your bitch, who took some dope from you, who sold some dope on your spot, who done some silly shit that in the large scheme of things ain't really got nothing to do with nothing. You will fuck him up. But we find out two white men killed a brother in New York, in Florida, in Dallas, wherever it may be. Who riding for him? Who riding for him, family? When the last time we heard of a white man killed a killed a kid, killed a teenager, killed a black man, and all of a sudden his house was shot up, just just in, just in some kid, just 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 out of the blue, his house was shot up. He he ended up dead, right? So when are we gonna put all of this shit into perspective for real, right? Because I'm not one to preach to anybody about black on black crime because I know crime is a proximity based. Thing, right? It's not based on the color of the person you're around. It's based on who you live around. I get that. But come on, family. Come on, family. What are we doing out here? What are we doing out here? We need to figure out a reach to reach the young dudes in the street. We need to figure out a way to reach the people in our community who haven't quite tapped in with their third eye yet. Who haven't quite figured out that... The war starts inside of you, like the revolution starts inside of you. We need to figure out a way to tap in with them. A lot of us who consider ourselves conscious or who consider ourselves aware of what's going on in society, we have no problem talking to each other. We have no problem building at times. We have no problem coming together. That shit is a little easier, right? But we have a lot of people in our society who are black who don't really think that way. We need to figure out a way to reach these brothers and sisters, man, because these is the warrior class in our society. Some of them are coming over. Some of them are, are, are rocking with us. But at the end of the day, as long as we keep treating each other a certain way, people outside of our community will continue to do the same shit too. What happened to this brother was unfortunate. What happened to this brother is nothing more than history re- repeating itself. These these vigilante, white supremacist, piece of shit Motherfuckers won't get a whole bunch of time in jail. They won't. Two, three, four, five years. Something like that. They'll be out, right? But what are we going to do moving forward? What are we going to do moving forward? You see what I'm saying? That's why Melanated Fathers of America, my organization, the website that I started, you know what all this is for? You know what all this is for? To make black folks give a shit about other black folks. That's it. That's it. If we don't give a fuck about us, nobody outside of our community will ever do so. Family, and that starts with kids. That starts with the beginning of the familial, the beginning of the family process 